Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, footies is so back. Everything turned straight up fun yesterday in FC24 with all of the crazy content that EA dropped. We're allowed now to do two Evos at one time. We've got SBCs for icons and heroes coming out with position changes, like the Kaka that we had yesterday. We've got two teams of players in packs. More importantly, a footies batch one that includes over 120 players, which is the biggest batch one and even more you know recent cards than i expected and we have a pack grind to actually pack those cards somehow the 81 plus player pick is now good to do because of all the cards that are in packs and i want to take you guys through the best way to be continually grinding opening player picks and crafting sbcs especially with exchanges and all the cards that are in packs it's just flat out fun on this game right now but there's one thing that could just make it even better i wanted to do more 85 times fives can ea drop us one specific upgrade pack today that is maybe unlimited repeatable so that we can really unlock the footies grind we'll talk about that and what else to expect today on this game if you're excited for it if you're excited for footies man drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new now we're going to go to objectives and get everything kind of covered through here there was a lot in objectives yesterday this is the first thing that i noticed and i like about footies so far guys there are so many players. The daily play completionist even gives you a player reward. We love a daily play. The packs are good. They're solid. And you even get a player. You get a nice 95 rated Bremer here with four play style pluses. He's missing a lot of defensive play styles for being a center back. But hey, for a free 95 rated footies card just for playing three games a day, that is not bad. Now, in playing those games every day, we're probably going to get involved with the Footies Cup, which, once again, you've got a player reward here. Reese James, 96 overall. I used the foot birthday Reese James for a while, and he was so good. I have to imagine this card's going to be pretty good as well. 4 or 5 with the 4 play style pluses. I wish that he had whipped pass plus, but he has whipped regular. He does not have anticipate or intercept, but still a very nice Reese James card here. And of course, XP actually from the objectives that were dropped yesterday I think a total of 1250 new XP was dropped some of it here in the cup and guys great packs in here we have a Kessie for play 10 games this card's only 4-4 four, four, I believe four star four star high high work rates but footies premium design which again um, is like basically full chemistry and then giving some league chemistry to a squad as well so we love that the regular footies card design actually gives chemistry as well the same chemistry that the radioactive design did earlier in the year this Boniface card from the cup as well looks pretty crazy. He's medium, medium. I don't know if that's a glitch or not because the El Sharabi showed medium, medium. He was actually high medium. I have to double check on that. But Aerial Plus, need we say more? Rapid Plus as well and Power Shot. I loved the Boniface Future Stars early in the year. I'm uh, going to have to try this card out once we get 11 wins in the cup. And then, of course, the Reese James, as we mentioned in the end, the great packs that you get inside of here. Two weeks to get it done. A W Cup. Now, we even had a single standalone player objective yesterday as well with Adiemi, a 99 pace Adiemi with some XP involved in there too. He's not five star skills. That's probably the only issue, but finesse, incisive, rapid with 99 pace. He's going to be a fun card for sure. Love that. And then of course, we still have the daily login that is out there in a round. Uh, keep working on that. And of course, those are some really nice packs We're working towards that 84 times 10. Also, EA dropped the footies away and home. Actually, just kidding. We got more than 1250 XP yesterday. I didn't even count up this XP right here, which I believe is 800 uh, for both of these. So 1600 XP if you buy the kits. Now the kits are 45,000 coins a piece, but I don't know if you noticed it or not. There was actually a mistake with the bundle with all the footy stuff in it yesterday in the store. They co combined all the footies kind of uh, items like the kit and the TFOs and stuff, and they priced it at 925,000 coins instead of 92,500 coins. Somebody slipped in an extra zero there. That was kind of a funny thing to see. But just make sure you go and buy the footies kit. If you're going to do this for the XP, buy them individually in the custom stadium item section of the store. So it does cost you 45k per kit, but it will give you that XP that, of course, we all are looking for. Now let's go to evolutions and talk about one of the biggest pieces of news yesterday, guys. You can do two Evos at a time. You can see right now, it's not just the two, the two new footies duo Evos that they dropped. Any two evolutions can be combined and you can get progress for playing both players in game right now at the same time. And there's only one problem that I have with this. 
if this availability has been here for the entire year and EA has been holding it back and gatekeeping that from us the whole year, then I'm not very happy about that, right? But I am happy that it is now out now. This was something we were hoping to see in a feature of part of FC25 that we were hoping to see as well, the availability to complete two evolutions at the same time. But it is here. You can see I've got two check marks on both Shuamani and the new nine Dempsey that I'm upgrading as well. It is phenomenal, right? We absolutely love that, especially towards the end game here. And to kind of go along with that, they gave us two of this footies duo evolution, which is a really good evolution, guys. You do get the footies card design at the end. 92 overall is the maximum rating. So like the possibilities of players that you can evolve through this is kind of like crazy. The ceiling is really, really high. But again, you need to be a little bit careful with who you choose in this Evo, in my opinion, because it is so good. It's really really meant for a center mid, center back, or a center defensive mid because you get aerial plus, ping to pass plus, and power header. I really think, guys, that this would be a best suited Evo for a midfielder or a defender. I have Shulmany Foot Birthday, who has been a club legend for me, and the card that he gets after all this, which I need to delete and reinstall the game now, I guess, because the card designs are not found here. Again, super duper annoying, but this card looks absolutely unreal. I know his stats aren't all above 90, so he's maybe, you know, behind the curve to some of you, but in game he's just different gravy and i'm super duper excited for him to get an upgraded boost here on this card there's so many cards that look insane out of this guys this evo brings some insane stuff like this majri fantasy card is uh all 90 stats with 97 passing and 98 dribbling the only thing that's maybe a bit of a finite detail that i would have liked with his evolution is if it would have given a weak foot or a skill move upgrade that would have been really nice but unfortunately it does not i think this show many lucio bisek there's some crazy double evos in here too which this bisek is if you're able to get him from a team of the week player pick this would be a crazy version of Bissek with 99 physical 94 defending 91 pace and aerial plus does he have anticipate he does not. Okay, so he would be lacking in Anticipate, but it's Ariel plus Bissek. That card's going to be OP. Lucio looks crazy. Yaya Toure looks crazy. And one of the craziest things about this too is like Yaya's in packs right now for best of batch one. So one thing you maybe want to wait on is just see who you pack in the next couple of days before you 100% decide who you want to put in this evolution because you could pack Yaya Toure. This would be a nuts version of Yaya Toure to have with Ariel plus pinged pass, bruiser, and press proven, nobody would be able to like muscle your way through that card. So that's a really nice one. Love the Evos. Like honestly, 9.5 out of 10 content yesterday for the Evos with being able to do two at once and having two of them at the same time and the players that you can make out of it absolutely phenomenal. So let's go to SBCs and talk about that really quick because there was a lot of SBCs dropped yesterday. Let's start with the biggest one. That is the card that I'm already halfway completed on. It is Kaka, guys. This is a position change Kaka, which again, it's so annoying not to be able to see the card design here. So annoying. Anyways, five star, five star striker, left wing, center forward, left mid, Kaka card. He's high, high work rates and his playstyle pluses are finesse, First touch, rapid, technical. He's got the other shooting playstyles as well. Power shot, dead ball, incisive. He's got quick step in here, and he has press proven regular. This is a crazy, crazy card, guys. Like a Kaka that's 97 rated with all 95 and above stats in the attacking areas besides passing, right? Maybe a little bit of higher passing would have been nice for a Kaka, but again, it's about this is kind of like a shapeshifter's twist on these icons and these heroes that are going to be coming out. This is the best SBC yesterday, in my opinion. And you can tell that people on Footbin are really, really liking it. 600 upvotes and 39 downvotes and only 650,000 coins for this Kaka card. Only 10 squads. Like, if this card was on the market, I think you would be more than this, just being completely honest. Especially if I take a look at some of the footies icons that were dropped, I think he would be more than this on the market. This SBC is an absolute banger. He's going to go boom straight into my team over, I think, Pushkas. I think he's going to dethrone Pushkas at a center forward spot, and he is going to go in here. And uh, I, I haven't used a version of Kaka in a long time. If you are uh, if you know uh, from the stream earlier last year, this is a 2 million coin card, in my opinion. It's uh, one of the bantering times from when we actually paid 2 million for a foot birthday Kaka, unfortunately, um, in a previous iteration of FIFA on accident. So love the Kaka. I'm going to be crafting through that one as I've already started to. The other player SBC that we had yesterday was leaked before content, and he's good. 
He's good. Actually, where did he go? Where's Modric at? Because he's a great SBC. I don't know. Right here at the front. Should have looked there first. I don't know if I'm going to be completing this card because I think that some of the midfielders I have already are at this level, maybe a little bit better, but this one's emotional. This one's nostalgic. Technical plus, pinged pass, intercept, and anticipate plus five star, five star, high, high work rates, Luka Modric. The passing and dribbling stats are insane. The rest of the card is just solid, right? Again, 91, 91, 90, and 90 on the rest of the stats seems just a smidge low, just a little bit. But I just know what the playstyle plus that this card has and almost maxed out dribbling. He's going to be insane in game. And if you've used Modric this year, he was really, really popular. One of the best midfielders in the game in the early stage, especially when Trivellas were popping because his Trivella Plus on that Road to the Knockouts card was just crazy. This card's going to be insane. I just think he's not as crazy as Kaká. doesn't hit different like the Kaká does. But if you want to get this one done, I love the price. We're, we're looking at a price on Luka Modric of only 400,000 coins, only four squads. Like 400,000 coins as a price tag is one thing, but an 86, 87, 89, and a 90 rated squad with the state of the menus and the pack grind like th that's darn near free you know so i think that's a really really good price for a modric it's basically free with the craft that is going on at the moment and probably some of the upgrade packs that we are going to be getting even upgraded differently today so i love that now here's a player pick sbc that uh, we had yesterday i was glad to see it actually dropped i was worried it was only going to be in the store but it was actually dropped in sbc as well guys this one stay away from everybody's doing this right now Everybody has the desire to do these gamble player picks because it's cheap, it's fun, and oh my goodness, you could pack Team of the Year Mbappe. Well, yeah, you could, but the likelihood of that is very, very small, and the rest of the cards that are in this batch one re-release are not good. Guys, this does not include footies cards. There may be some confusion with that. This is only the re-released old promo cards, which I will show you the list, and there will be a link to those cards in the description if you want to check out the list that we're going to look at in a second. This does not include footies. It's an 86 rated squad and guys, to be honest, you're better off doing 81 plus player picks because you'll pack so many special cards. It won't be worth turning in an 86 rated squad for this. So maybe you try it once just for fun, but I would stay away from that in my opinion. Now, the other biggest thing that we had yesterday was all of the upgrade packs refreshed, right? They didn't add any exchanges on, which we would have loved to see, but we still love the exchanges here that we have. And especially with the packs that have been re-released or sorry, the cards that have been re-released in packs in footies batch one, it's nice to have still the 86 and the 87 overall duplicate exchanges because I packed multiple re-release promo cards yesterday that were the 86, 87 to 88 rated range. And if they would have moved the exchanges like up to higher ratings and gotten rid of some of the lower ones, that would have been unfortunate. So we love that the exchanges are back. Guys, this is going to be the key to unlocking once again the unlimited player pick craft during footies. These exchange cards giving you the gold rares and the comments. Now, what's also going to be helped to unlocking that exchange grind and the player pick grind is the fact that our simple upgrades that EA dropped, the daily ones, right? The daily bronze, silver, and gold. You can do the daily gold upgrade now 10 times per day. This used to be three or four, one of the two. I didn't do it that often because I had always exchanges sitting and ready to be opened, but this is incredible. If you're running out of gold commons, this is a way you can get off the ground running very, very easily. 10 times repeatable per day is fantastic. The 83 plus team of the week player pick was also refreshed and re-released. And uh, one SBC that I might skip over on a normal day, but I want to actually talk about today is the footies daily challenge. This is pretty easy to do. It's a rare mega pack. And the problem with the grind, which we're going to talk about in a second, is you run out of rare golds really quickly. This is a basically free SBC. It's 3,000 coins to complete. You can get a bunch of rares in this rare mega pack SBC. It's a rare mega pack. Everything inside of it is rare. So that is actually one that I would consider doing. You can do it every single day. So the best way to be crafting right now to get 81 plus player picks and the fodder continually moving is through the gold daily gold upgrades as we, as, as we mentioned that's where you want to start get the gold commons and a few gold rares in your club that is where you want to start from there you're just going to go into the player picks and then from there wow i got absolutely hosed on those player picks because out of every three set of player picks that i was doing before i always do sets of three i find it lucky find it op 
I was packing a special card every single set of three, maybe one or two sets. I didn't, but the special cards are popping so often and so common that you can just get one of those high rated special cards and throw them straight back into, into the exchange. If you make 10 81 plus player picks, um, which is basically free with the daily gold upgrades that you can get, Maybe you have to do a couple of the regular gold upgrades um, to kind of get extra rares. But if you make 10 player picks, I would almost guarantee that you get at least three special cards, at least two special cards in a set of 10 player picks. And then you're able to put one of those players into an exchange, get more gold commons and rares in the club, and it's just endless, right? And here's the thing too, you're going to be packing promo cards from the exchanges way more often because there's 100 and 20 players in packs. That's the simple unlimited grind of the game right now is 81 plus player picks with the exchanges. Put your high rated from the player picks into the exchanges, especially with the special cards out and just keep rinsing and repeating. Again, the gold cards, the gold rares are the ones like if you check my club right now, gold rares is what I'm struggling for the most. You'll have an abundance of gold commons. But for the rares that you need, uh, you can see here, if I go low to high on rares, what's my lowest rating? Uh, 82s. Like, I'm already stuck at 82s. You can use Conmi Bowls. Don't forget about that. Conmi Bowl Libertadores, you can use. So you can turn these in for your three rares. But also, make sure you are maybe rinsing a few into the um, regular gold upgrade. The regular gold upgrade that gives you two gold players that will actually give you some rares. Look, I'm even running out of non-rares. I need to put some high rateds into an exchanges uh, so that I can uh, get things moving once again over here because your boy's running out of everything. We'll do one more player pick at the moment because let's see if I get a high rated special card from a re-release footies batch one. Nothing, bro. Really, EA? Come on, man. I was hitting these like crazy yesterday. Now, let's talk about what is in packs and the cards that we are having so much fun packing. Well, let me just maybe show you first what I was able to pack yesterday. I probably did like, I don't know, 20 to 30 player picks, and I was able to hit multiple special cards every single time. Marta, I hit my first footies card with Ole. Again, card not found the design so annoying. I hit Milito, right? That's boom, going into an exchange for sure. I hit Puteus, winter wild cards in an 81 plus player pick. That was crazy. I also hit a bunch of lower tier players here. Correa, Kubo, Mukiele, winter wild cards. I guys, I hit Millie Bright and Phil Foden, team of the season, Phil Foden and team of the year, Millie Bright in those player picks as well. Kempembe, Dunk, Wijnaldum, them, Loriente, Sissoko, Larson, a lot of the lower rated cards for sure. You're packing right now on this game as well. And I turned so many of them that I packed into the Kaka SBC that I was working on too. There are so many cards in packs at the moment. It's just making opening packs so fun. That is the best part of this game at the moment. This best of batch one has two things going for it. Number one, there's team of the year cards. There's team of the year icons in here like R9. You know, team of the year Oberdorf is inside of this as well. They even threw in team of the seasons, which I was a little worried yesterday at the content drop would maybe make team of the season prices drop. They're they're actually still going up. My investment of 1.5 million coins into Team of the Seasons, I'm still holding most of those, and they went up yesterday. I think they're going to go up even more today with another upgrade pack that EA is going to be dropping, but the stuff that is in packs, guys, it's a bigger batch than last year, and the cards are better. Sure, you have some old ones in here, but you also have cards up until Team of the Season. You've got fantasy cards, future stars, icons that are in packs as well, some random heroes that are in packs. I mentioned the Yaya Toure, so I'm going to put this link in the description. If you're confused at why why some players are coming out of packs and other ones are still their gold versions. Not everything of every special card is in uh, packs. I would say what you do is if you like, I don't know if a certain guy has a special card in packs, go to this PDF document, which is linked again in the description and search for their name with a little search bar or control F search. And you can see like, I just searched Yaya. His fantasy hero card is in packs, the 91 rated version. So you can see that. Now, I do want to touch on something, right? You notice that I packed the Alexia Puteas Winter Wild Cards, right? She's in packs. It lists her right here. But also, she is in packs as a footies card. Same thing for Ribery, and there might even be a couple other items. That this is the same way. Both of the special items are in packs at the same time. So if you pack Winter Wild Cards Alexia Puteas like I did, it's not a, a mistake. Like, that, that is a thing that is new this year. It's been going on in the year for the while, for a while that two different special versions of the same player can be in packs at the same time. That is, again, confirmed. So that's why I didn't pack Alexia Puteas footies, which would have been a stupid nuts pack pull. I guess now I have the Winter Wild Cards Puteas, which I could either use in the cup 
and or Evo um, and keep her uh, go to a higher rating. Or I have Dupe Theory now for the uh, nine rated footies version. But just to kind of encompass the footies cards that are in packs, of course, we have the insane Neymar, the insane Puteas, and Jorginho. Sophia Smith, we would have loved it if she was 5'5". Five, five. Uh, because she's 2 million coins and it's just insane card, but she's 4 star, 5 star. Ribery looks great as well as a 1.2 million coin icon card. It looks really, really nice there. He's 5-5. Five, five. Schneider, uh, Schneider actually is the first card that I have a little bit of an issue with. He looks good, but it's the price range, man. And same thing with some of the other icons, like Stoichkov is at his minimum price not selling. Stoichkov, Schneider, Ramirez, that's just to name the first few. They're, those are all at minimum price not selling. That's a bit of an unfortunate thing about the market with the cards that were dropped yesterday. It's uh, That is happening in multiple different areas, and it is very unfortunate to have that yet again, cards not selling at minimum price. But the footies cards are definitely more difficult to pack than the, uh, the re-release cards for sure. But, you know, like people were still packing Sancho a lot yesterday, Courtois, Kalulu is very common, Ole, who I packed, and Marquez, very common cards. Guys, it just seems like the number of footies cards, um, not the number of footies, but the number of footies cards in total, not just in packs, but through SBCs and objectives, it's going to start to take over the game. But the number of the promo cards in packs is just astounding at the moment. And again, just to come back to the main point, it is making packs so fun to open. So that's kind of what is all in packs at the moment. We looked at my pulls. Let's talk about the market really quick because we did mention I thought some of the prices were going to go back up and it did kind of work that way. However, there was some crazy panic right after content. People saw all the footy stuff prices dropped and then prices rebounded. Like I bought two John Stones yesterday for 710,000 coins. I sold one just now for 840. I still have one more to go. And I also just sold a Conte for 507 that I bought for 445. But even some other cards like this Gakpo card, he's up 100K guys. Gakpo yesterday was 420, went all the way to 320 and is now all the way back to 420, 430,000 coins. Because for some people, they look at this promo and they're like, Nate, for, except for the footies cards, why do I want to open packs and just open old promo cards and basically get fodder, right? Well, part of the fun with the packs being the way they are right now is just seeing the old flares and the old pack animations. It's actually brought some nostalgia and some like unknown to the packs. I have no packs right now because I keep just opening everything every chance that I get. I wish I could open a pack at the moment, but like every time you see the pack animation, you just don't know what you're going to get. Like, because if you get a promo card, Let's do this. 20,000 coins, whatever. I could, It's tradable as well. I could pack a promo card and make my coins back. Okay, I don't get one here, but the pack animation right now is like so unknown because you have all these different colors and you're trying to remember like, who is that? Like who, what color is like that pink or that blue version of the, um, you know, the walkout animation that I haven't seen for ages. Did I just make my coins back here? Uh, 20,000 coins, 86s are 7.5k and 85s are 5k. So I didn't quite, but not far off. That's not actually a pretty good 80 plus times 5, but it's going into the club. So yeah, as you guys know, packs are just so fun to open right now. But since these cards are a little bit more fodder-esque and they're not maybe going into your team, I know some people are like, ah, it's kind of mid, right? So that's why some of these more meta cards from Team of the Tournament did rise back up. But with the number of footies cards that were dropped yesterday, again, long term in the next week, even the next two weeks, the market's probably not going to do that good. I would recommend if you have team and tournament cards, maybe a PTG card that went back up yesterday, maybe a Tots card like a Bellingham or a Virgil van Dyke, like this Saliba is 1.3 in the panic. Now he's back to 1.6. I would say during the next week, sell these cards just because you don't want to be holding on to them when we get better and more recent promo cards released in packs. That is going to just tank the rest of the market during the rest of the year. But for right now, some of the most meta stuff, the four play style plus stuff, even Cucurella, who I was invested in, uh, interested in investing in, he went from like 90,000 coins to 110. So he's starting to go up as a lot of the team of tournaments are. So it was a good day to trade on the market as well yesterday. And um, a lot of people as well going with the French weekend league teams. I don't know if you guys are doing this, but I looked at my friends team and I was like, yep, it's pretty cracked. I can work on the Shua Mini Evo. So I was like, you know what? Let's go for it. And weekend league rewards, are kind of nuts. I mean, think about as well, the 84 plus player picks inside of the weekend league rewards. I haven't seen too many opened, but even like I'm excited to get the four wins here. I got this done. I'm going to rip these packs, give me some gold rares, and then going to just get my simple 11 wins 
85 plus. Sorry, they're not 84 plus. They're 85 plus player picks for rank five in champs finals and 85 times three gold pack as well. Like I'm genuinely interested in opening this weekendly reward set this weekend because of all the promo cards that are out. Absolutely love that. So that's kind of the gameplay grind that I'm even a little bit more motivated to kind of work through and trudge through would maybe be the word kind of struggle through the gameplay of course not in its best state in fc24 but it's more worth it with the cards that are in packs it makes it feel like hey there's something at the end that is worth playing for so that's kind of the state of the market oh let's talk fodder really quick to mention this we've already looked at some of the prices but fodder spiked yesterday at content 84s are down a lot now from where they were i think it's because people are opening their weekly rewards and the tradable packs and probably some of the hype from the footies player pick is dying off but from 2.7k 84s went all the way to three and a half now they're back down to 2.3. This actually could be an investment, to be honest. 84 rated under 2,000 coins. I'm going to shout that as a bit of an investment because that 86 rated squad for the footies pick is going to be popular. And then whatever upgrade pack we get today, people are going to be interested in that as well. So I would watch 84s just because they're a lot lower compared to 85. Still, 85s are up a little bit, I think. Um, and then maybe you keep an eye on like 83s even. 83s at 900 or 850 on bid might be a decent buy as well. Just because we're going to get more craft, more grind this week, and people are going to be doing every single possible pack that they can do. And I think fodder is going to be very necessary to have. Now, the top tier, again, this is why we mentioned sell 89s, 90s, and 91s the last couple of days because they're down bad because of all the special cards that are in packs that are of those ratings are just flooding the market as everybody's packing those. So that makes sense. The low tier of fodder is going to be the best play this week if you're going to invest, if you're going to trade there. And speaking of fodder, I already mentioned it once, but just to go over it really quickly, there's no team of the week cards that were re-released in this batch number one. There are team of the seasons though. Ooh, how much? Team of the seasons were 40,000 coins yesterday. They're now back down to 30, how much? 35, 36K. 36k for your team of the weeks they're probably going to go to 40 again today i would imagine they're going to get bought back up it all depends on what sbc we get for our big saturday repeatable higher guaranteed rating sbc but i think there's going to be a tots requirement probably still in there team of the weeks are a little bit higher up and staying a bit higher than tots i think just because they aren't supplied by a few tots cards that are in packs but that's enough yapping let's talk about today let's talk about saturday what are the sbcs that we're looking for what's the one that we want well Yesterday, as I mentioned, when I finished my last third and final 85 times five upgrade pack, I was literally just itching to do more because every single 85 five that I opened had at least two promo cards in it. It was mad fun. It was absolutely sick. We need another SBC like this to come out today. It can even be worse. I'm saying this right now. I know a lot of people want the 85 times 10 unlimited repeatable. I'm just trying to put the expectation out there that it is still the first week of footies. And if EA goes straight to that right away, there's no progression. And that would just kind of, yes, it would be crazy fun, but I don't see them doing that, right? Because the way they did it last year was they waited like four or five weeks of footies until the last two weeks almost to give us an unlimited 85 times 10 grind. And like that's when they finally let things go. It was like the middle of August, maybe even mid to late August. I'm guessing it's going to be the same this way this year, guys. So I'm not expecting an 85 times 10 today unless it's like one, two times repeatable, maybe three. That's probably it. What I really think and really want EA to do today is honestly give us an 80 four times five, make it a worse SBC. You're like, Nate, why do we want an 84 times five? Give us an 84 five. That is an 84 squad with a team of the season. If you have to have that requirement in there, EA and make it unlimited repeatable. I will take a lower level guaranteed rating upgrade pack that is unlimited that I can continue to do every single day, time in, time out, and just keep crafting it. If it's if we're gate kept to only three, five, or even 10 completions on an upgrade pack like this, like five or 10 completions is cool, but unlimited is just eh, different. It's just different, especially with the player picks that are out right now, the exchanges, it would just un completely unlock the menus. And then I would probably do the Modric SBC and I would finish Kaka so easy. I might even do any of these other random player species because just the fodder would be churning over and over and over. You'd be able to craft anything. So that's kind of the hope. Will EA do it? We'll see. My best guess today is actually an 84 times 10. If I had to guess, they would release that. But I think we might get two different upgrade pack SBCs today. And I'm also crossing my fingers for something that's maybe like 
even like the crafting upgrade that we had uh, last week or two weeks ago. Was it longer than two weeks ago? It might have been three weeks ago by now. But the 77 times five, that would be incredible because that gave us five gold rares. And if they put out an unlimited repeatable 77 times five to go along with this 81 plus, we would have gold rares for days. You would be packing promo cards from that. And that would just be, mm, that would be mint. So if we get unlimited repeatable SBCs today, we're loving it. I think that might be too good to be true, but that's what could really unlock the footies grind. Regardless, we're going to get some sort of upgrade pack today, similar to an 85 5 84 10 please just not the 86 double i never want to see that spc again please let that one be gone and a thing of the past so that's my thoughts today that's the biggest part of content because that'll really set us up for how good the grind and the craft is going to be during this first week of footies which i actually do want to mention this too footies team one is in packs for one week in previous years the batch one has been in packs for two weeks this batch one of 120 plus players is only in packs for one week and that is a really good sign that means you're going to be interchanging the players in and out of packs for the re-releases more often which means less duplicates over the course of a two weeks time compared to the previous years so the other thing i want to talk about in terms of content today is this right here we had kaka yesterday i think today we're going to get a hero sbc i bet they go icon one day hero the next last year i think on the second day of footies we had a tim cahill um hero footies sbc that was position changed i believe and that's kind of the same vibe they're going for this year position changed icons and heroes i'm imagining another hero today we'll have to see the other thing that has been leaked and i forgot to pull this up and mention it um in a video yesterday is we have this leak right here for an SBC that is coming soon picked by Red Bull's um, pro player Anders Verjang, right? Verzgang, right? Uh, you've got Rikelme who has been added to come as an SBC. He is officially the card leaked that Verjang has picked. So we will see a Rikelme special card at some point. I think he's going to be the FC pro design though. He's not going to be a footies design. So this probably won't be in line with any of the footies content, but that could be today. That could be to tomorrow. I forget what day DDA drug, but dropped, but it would be similar to that. We're getting a Raquel May soon picked by Anders. So that SBC is going to be coming, but I bet we get a hero could be an icon, but some sort of a hero or icon SBC today, maybe a footies player SBC as well. Other than that, I don't even know what else we're going to get guys. The regular refresh of the daily SBCs, the daily gold upgrades and all that jazz. It really just matters the most today about the player SBC we get and the upgrade packs that we get. So best of luck playing champs. Again, like I said, I'm more motivated to play champs now with this France team for the objectives, for the packs in here. The cup, the cup is a good cup. Also, I didn't mention this when we went through here before. I like the requirements in the cup. I do because, you know, some people are like, nah, Nate, it's, it's mid. You have to play with older players, but... I like the requirements in here because, again, it's kind of like a little bit of a nostalgia vibe, running back uh, down memory lane, thinking of cards that you used in the required promos in here. You have to use Winter Wild cards, Future Star, or Ultimate Birthday cards. So I threw in an Ultimate Birthday version of an Evo Alessandrini that I used a lot earlier on in the year that was kind of like my goat. Or who could forget about team? Well, is, is there fantasy in this? No. Future Stars, Foot Birthday, or Winter Wild cards. So, you know, it's just some of this fun stuff like this is how my team looked maybe like th four months ago three months yeah probably about four months ago this is how my team looked maybe three because birthday was in what march so that'd be about four so like part of the team of the season players and a couple things in here we were using these cards like three or four months ago and it's kind of yes a little bit of a flashback to that so you're like oh nate well everybody's in the same 92 rated squad requirements here and using one of the future stars winter wild cards or ultimate birthday so i have absolutely no problem with that i think that is cool especially because the rewards are good guys like man it's, it's crazy how things just completely switch in the blink of an eye when content that is legit good and fun and in like when EA opened the gates. Honestly, things change so fast in this game. So footies is starting off fantastic. Yesterday we were talking about, oh, is it going to be hype? Is EA going to actually deliver? They freaking delivered, man. Let me know down in the comments who your best pack pull was. And uh, good luck today as you maybe play Weekend League, play the Cup, and rip more packs. And let's cross our fingers for some good upgrade pack SBCs. That's the video for me today, guys. Enjoy your Saturdays. Have a great weekend. I will see you guys in another video tomorrow on the YouTube channel. It's been Nathan with Countdown. See you guys there. Peace out.